In Fusion 360, we have the ability to create tools. If we go to the Manufacturer tab, and then we click on Manage in our tool library, you can see that Fusion has all kinds of tools already made. And there's all kinds of dimensions and presets that you can use, and these are great. But sometimes you need to create your own tools. In this case, we're gonna create a laser cutter tool. And we want to be able to do this so we can set up the kerf that we want for our particular laser cutter and material. There are three different places you can have tools. You can have them saved with a particular project. You can have them saved in the cloud or local. And the current document that I have open is create tool project. This is just a sample file to show how this works. And you can see once I click this, I have the plus button. So I can click plus, then I can go to laser cutter, and I want to give this a description. So I'm going to say Epilog Fusion Pro. And it's nice to give some information about what the kerf is. In this case, it's 0 0.005 inches or 0.127 millimeters. You need to check this for each of your materials and your laser cutters. But this is what I have for this particular laser cutter now. Then click on Cutter. And here I actually type in the kerf. So in this case, if I'm using millimeters, which I recommend, type 0.127, and that will save this kerf for this tool. We don't need to worry about nozzle clearance diameter for this particular tool. Click Accept. And then now we can see this tool is right here. We can copy this tool, and then we can paste it. So now we have it in our local library, so we can use it on different projects. We can also paste it in the cloud. Then once it's here, we have it available to the cloud. If you don't see the cloud, you need to make sure you click on your preferences and under manufacturer, make sure you enable cloud libraries. Then you'll have access to tools and other things for manufacturing in the cloud. And this is great. So now we can manage our tool libraries and reuse these for different projects. And then we can set up different curves for our tools and materials and use them for our setups in the manufacturer workspace.